What's up guys? Kevin here, back again with another video. I am done doom scrolling and going through a quarter life crisis. I am back with another video. Today, you know, I think it only feels right to uh, come back and do a quick review of the Jound Sambas, the made in Germany Sambas. Um, it caused up a bit of a stir because uh, Adidas in their promotional clips, um, they were very much touting that this was made in Germany by the staff that's, you know, a few miles away from Adidas headquarters and, you know, that um, it's very, you know, like a lot of care and craft put into it. Um, I'm not necessarily saying that it wasn't put together carefully, but what I am saying is it is slightly misleading because in the promotional clip, while they were showing it off, uh, it was shown that the uppers were actually made in Vietnam, uh, which a lot of, you know, made in like X sneakers and apparel and stuff, um, they start their initial production in another country, get shipped over to another one and gets finished there. So that is what I'm assuming happened with the Jound Sambas, is that the uppers were put together um, in Vietnam and like, yeah, like which is why the made in Vietnam tag was on there. But once received at the Adidas headquarters, they took that tag off and they did the final finishing and the packaging and the assembly, the assembly of it uh, in Germany. So I'm sure the same thing happens with New Balance where they source their materials like elsewhere. Um, and they do uh, some of, probably most of the assembly part of it in the states but the actual like probably dyeing and then the leather etc that's not probably made in the states so yeah enough talking about the controversy let's talk about the shoes themselves so both shoes they come in this adidas uh jown co-branding uh, box uh, slightly different from some of their originals boxes this is how some of their originals and classics boxes come this one has the Adidas Trifoil logo and on the side it just says Jound. Uh, the actual uh, material of the box itself is very much like any other um, Adidas box that you'll find except it is a lid box, not a flip top. So I have both pairs here. The reason why I didn't do a review as soon as I got them in is because I wanted to really wear them and break them in and kind of get a real sense of how each of them wore. Um, I've been wearing them for a few weeks now, so uh, I thought it'd be now is a good time, you know, to give a good review of it. So here is the black pair. The black pair is exclusive to John's website. And then here is the white and cream pair as well. Uh, and I have a few other models to sort of compare uh, to give you a better idea of what you should be expecting if you are going to be ordering this pair. There's also a third pair that was accidentally released in Brazil early. It is an all suede uh, light brown pair. It was actually very similar to the leaked images that we got way back. Uh, those leaked images essentially depicted this except with the down back tab. Um, as well as the brown suede pair, which that one I'm assuming will be releasing in a few months um, just because of the fact that it already was shipped to a different retailer and then I guess some pairs actually sold and shipped. Uh, so that's that. That one I don't believe is made in Germany. I believe that one is going to be a little bit more of a wider release, but we'll see how that goes. So talking about quickly about all the other things that are in the box. They come with a poly, vintage poly lace. So this vintage poly lace is just a standard poly lace, um, not very special. The ones that are laced up in the shoes, I personally like a lot more because it is a thicker sort of like more cotton blend. These guys are just poly. Um, I think they included that so that like it'll feel more like a vintage pair of Adidas, but you're paying like 250. So if you truly wanted just a vintage pair of, you know, Sambas, just go buy a vintage pair of Sambas instead of trying to do this. But uh, I will be talking about, let's talk about the white pair first. Let's talk about the GR pair. So this 
is the general release pair. Well, I shouldn't really say general release because this released at Adidas and Chound, but this at least had the Adidas release. Um, here it is. The upper is definitely more of like a cream than a full white. It comes with this nice suede toe cap. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the suede is pretty decent. Um, the leather is actually quite nice as well. It's a very soft plush leather as well as the back tab is bigger on this Samba model versus the other ones that are on the market as well. Uh, this tongue has that sort of vintage tongue as well. I believe Samba's way back. Um, I vaguely remember like sometime in like high school or something like that, that I had a pair of Sambas that had this sort of like like ribbing, if that makes sense. It's not like the current Sambas where they have the Adidas logo and they just have like it like squared off right there. It's it's this like nice leather tongue. Um, again, like I said, the laces are really good. Uh, I don't have any glue stain issues. Usually with uh, suede toe caps, you'll easily be able to tell glue stains there. I have no issues with glue stains. The inner heel lining is of this gold sort of leather. It's quite nice as well. Not super padded, uh, but it is a nice leather. It's something to note is that um, it's not fully leather lined. Um, only the ankle area is leather lined. The rest is backed by a rough canvas for durability. Uh, I know some shoes, um, I believe Adidas had a made in Germany uh, collection. I had the Stan Smith from that collection. Um, it was made from like German deer leather. I'm trying to like, I'll put it up somewhere here, but I had that pair. I wore that into the gown. I really liked it. But one of the things that I thought was like a little like cool thing, but also practicality was a little bit weird is that the entire inner lining was all like leather lined and it wasn't very breathable. So it definitely got like musty in there. So I'm glad that at least it was a partial leather line. Um, the inner uh heel has the adidas headquarters address or the factory address as well as jown co-branding the insole is leather topped so it's just a leather insole it has a made in germany sticker and a jown uh, printed uh, the other side is just of a light padding it's not the most comfortable shoe it's very very close to the ground but there is a little bit of cushion for you a lot of ground feel and yeah the leather itself feels very very soft very very premium very plush um there's very little if any break in time um the shoe itself just looks like a very clean pair of sambas with the jound foil uh, branding right there uh, now talking about the black pair pretty much all the details are going to be exactly the same except the tongue is white everything that was cream uh, is black um, they also did something different versus the gr pairs of sambas is that usually the gr pairs have like a gray suede toe cap this one is all black so it's a black on black with the three stripes there same it's just a lot of it really is just like an inverse of the other pair uh, in terms of sizing so that's interesting i got a size eight in the black and an eight and a half in the cream off white uh, they both fit fine normally in sambas i go for an eight and a half but i got this pair in an eight um, and the eight was a little bit snug at the beginning but it stretched out within like a few wears so i think the eight fits like a glove for me which is my true to size and then my normal Samba size, which is an eight and a half, that also fit perfectly fine straight out the box. Uh, so I would say go what your normal Samba size is. Some people I know have to size up half, which I'm a part of that group, but I was able to go true to size as well. So it's like, depends. If you like a snug fit, go whatever you want. But yeah, the leather is soft enough to stretch out over time. Uh, one thing that I did notice, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but given that the tongue of these is white, it's more prone to uh, staining. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but already within the first like few weeks of owning this, 
uh, I already have some stains on my leather tongue. Uh, I'm not a huge uh, stickler for that. It's the dye from the laces rubbing and just the color transfer is normal. But if you guys are a stickler for that, I would suggest going with just the white pair. Um, yeah, not a, not a huge deal breaker for me, but uh, something I did notice if you guys do care about that. Another thing to note is that the tongue is a lot softer than your GR pair of Sambas. The GR pair of Sambas, the tongue is very, very thin, not very well padded. This is a lot more well padded uh, than um, your GR Sambas, which I would hope so for twice as expensive as it is. Uh, in terms of the QC, so I did have a few loose threads on this, which not a big deal, but again, if they're touting quality, I did have a few loose threads. I thought, again, I just mentioned that. Same sort of details. Now, I brought a few pairs to compare to, as well as I brought some alternatives that if you guys don't wanna spend like whatever the resale price is, uh, these are options for you. Um, first pair is the Adidas Handball Spezial. Um, one of my favorite pairs from last year. I think they re-released in Europe, maybe. Um, but this is definitely one of my favorite pairs of, why did I say it like that? One of my favorite pairs from last year. More comfortable than a Samba. The sole is a little bit cooler in my opinion. I think the sole is a little bit squishier, so a bit more comfortable. Um, there's a little bit more padding. Uh, I just really like the shoe itself. It gives that sort of same Samba-esque, but the Spezio handball, uh, I think the all suede upper looks really cool. I think it looks really nice uh, beat. The leather itself is very, very soft, um, and it also has that like slight distressing to it. Um, it's not a super, super um, synthetic leather, so when I rub up against it, it does have a little bit of like wear to it, which I like because it brings a bit more character. Um, and yeah, just overall great pair. This is a woman's pair, but uh, you can find your men's sizing. Like obviously it comes with like woman's extended. I think this looks pretty, pretty dang close, if not potentially better in some lights. Cause I like the, the sole of this. It's a little bit more like orangey than the brown of this, but I think this is a great alternative. You can find it for cheaper, definitely, compared to the Jown Sambas. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a pair of GR Sambas to compare to, but I do have a pair of Human Race Sambas. I did a lace swap to these cotton laces just because I like that better. Uh, this is a long tongue pair of Sambas, but a few differences that you can kind of tell between the two and model wise, this is kind of similar, but there's a few obviously like small detail differences. Um, but the tongue or not the tongue, the back tab uh, is definitely different in the Jown Sambas. The Jown Sambas I believe use an older mold for the Sambas while the newer ones have this sort of like ribbed back tab. Um, the GR Sambas have that all, I believe other Sambas have that as well. I don't quite remember if the Consortium Cup did as well. I would like to say some of them did, some of them didn't. So in terms of, yeah, just details in general, that was really the only difference that I found in terms of like the outer mold itself, as well as this is a little bit more like flatter and the Sambas that are in the current rotation are a little bit sharper on that back uh, heel area. So that could be that. And I thought this would be a cool comparison with uh, the heart copy uh, German army trainer, you know, the BW army, whatever you want to call it. Um, sort of similar sort of shapes, very, very close to each other. Um, obviously the T toe is going to look a little bit different, same with the sole, but I think it is a cool comparison to have it. Um, in terms of leather quality, I do think that the BW armies, this is a, a bit thicker of a leather cut while this one is a little bit softer. So there's pros and cons to that. I think this one will last a bit longer without having a lot of scrapes against the leather. This one feels a little bit more delicate. So I would worry about the leather paint chipping and stuff like that. But yeah, again, if these were more widely available, I would definitely recommend these, but alas, these were samples only.
One thing that I do wish that they incorporated into this release um, was a, a little bit of a more special box. I know that is a very um, sneakerhead sort of thing to complain about, uh, but that is something that if you're paying that little bit like elevated price, you'd wish that they would go out a little bit more for that. Um, and I do know that Jones Hole like Ethos is to be utilitarian and like minimalist and sort of call back to those like classics, but it wouldn't hurt to have um, like a nicer box. Like some of the consortium cup pairs came in a nice box. I did a few reviews of that. And even the human race one comes with like a slide out box, which I think was like really, really cool. Um, but the Adidas Chown ones just came in a plain Adidas box with Chown co-branding paper and a spare poly lace, and that was it for 250. Um, this Human Race Samba, um, although it was like made in Vietnam, so was that technically. Um, but this was made in Vietnam, but it came in like much special, much more special packaging, and it was all leather, and it was a collaboration with you know, um, the Echo Leather Company and stuff. So I feel like in my head, I'm like scratching myself thinking like, did that much price go into the labor of essentially assembling the shoe? Um, Cause re in reality, they had the uppers already made. They had to finish it by attaching the sole, curing the adhesive, I think stitching the upper as well, I believe the upper, no, not even stitching the upper, just curing and the adhesive did, did $150 worth of work go into that? I'm not sure, but alas, speaking purely about the product, this is a, this is a pretty good product. Um, I'm, I've, I've definitely worn it quite a bit comfortable compared to you know low top like leather sneakers um very very minimal very very easy to slide into um very easy to um put into your wardrobe and in reality this is really what jound is about right jound is about uh like elevating those classic pairs putting a little bit of like a tweak to it so their tweak was to was to have it made and assembled in Germany, um, and also to add certain minimalist details like this golden inner lining and um, co-branding and making the leather soft and premium. So they did add their touch to it, but keeping the silhouette itself, cause like if you see somebody walking down the street, they'll be like, oh, those are a pair of Sambas. But if you're like, if you if you know, you know, um, then they're like, oh, a pair of Jalen Sambas. I think that is their whole thing with their sweats and their chore jackets and their accessories and all of their collaborations, like their pair of Levi's. Cool, those are a pair of Levi's. Damn, actually they're a pair of Jam Levi's if you look at the back tab or the pay, pair of like, you know, like APCs that they have. You'll be like, oh, that's just a pair of raw denim. Oh, actually that's a pair of Jound raw denim, um, you know, if you don't know. So I feel like that's just very a part of their MO. Um, would I buy this at resale? Uh, depends, depends. It, it really does depend on whether or not you want an elevated take of the Samba, like a really elevated, like this is probably as good as you're gonna get for a classic, a classic Samba. This is probably the peak of classic Samba. Uh, or are you okay with spending a little bit less money, maybe getting a, uh, you know, like another collaboration that might have a little bit more storytelling. Um, you know, like if you're cool with that, grab some of the consortium pairs or grab even the Spezial handball that I really, really love. I'm a big, big proponent on that. I love that, wore, wore that pair a lot. Um, or are you, looking for something a little bit more special. You can get the human race uh, Samba, or you can get, again, the consortium cup and with different materials and stuff. Like if you want that stuff, get that stuff. But if you want the highest elevated take of what the Samba could ever be, this is probably it of the classic Samba. This is probably it. 
Um, another pair that I think you might be interested in is the Made in Italy pair of Sambas. But those, the colorways aren't like the normal Sambas. They're very monotone. And even the Made in Italy, I believe those are like $350. Think about that. That's $350, no collaborative effort, etc. $350. That's pretty expensive. Now, whether or not it's actually fully made in Italy or is it made in Vietnam, assembled in Italy, that's that's a gray area like in itself. Um, and you know, to be honest, I feel like Jown um and maybe it wasn't just Jam, maybe Adidas had a say in this, but I feel like they missed out on an opportunity to be like really, really cool and say like, you know, like um, made in Vietnam, assembled in Germany. I think that would have been pretty cool for them to be like very like forthright and just be like, yo, this was like, you know, Germans and Vietnamese people like, you know, handshake type of shit. Um, I thought that would have been really cool to take a look into. But I don't know whether or not Adidas and John would have liked that for their brand image and etc. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think of both these pairs? Do you guys like them? Do you guys not? Um, they're very in line with the John collaborative sneaker space. Their New Balance, their Crocs, um, you know, like all their other stuff, all their other projects with uh, Reebok and stuff. Uh, very very in line. Danner. Oh. Danner, uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? I'll be doing an on foot right now uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.